Hi, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I'm going to show you a Goodwill outlet haul. Not the Goodwill store haul, Goodwill outlet. So we've got actually a new one in our area, so we've got two. So this is from both of them. And I'm just going to kind of walk down the table so um, to give you a closer look at what we've got going on. So don't give up on books. Books are always a good thing. The good thing to remember is just look through them. Make sure there's no water damage, no writing in them. If there's mild writing, you can put that in the listing. But make sure you always mark them used, especially when you get them from the Goodwill outlet, even if they look brand new because they are used. They're not from a retail store. Um, these are medical supply hoses. The biggest thing to remember is just make sure they're in, still in the package and they don't look damaged. Um, this is a good time of the year since springtime is coming up to be getting canning supplies. This is a lifter for when you're boiling the pot, uh, the bottles. So, um, and Ball is a very popular brand. Uh, these are really awesome because they had an Amazon sales rank of 90 in, in um, electronics. And so that was really awesome. And there are none on there. So evidently they must be um, not making them anymore or they're harder to find. So um, we will just take a shot in the dark and how much we want to price them. Remotes, of course, I've made a video on remotes and uh, how beneficial those are. And so you just open up the back. You make sure they all have the back. And you open up the back and make sure there's no corrosion inside them. Um, if there's batteries that are corroded, I generally stay away from it. This one now is really kind of neat because it has the LCD screen on it. And when it has the LCD screen on it, generally they're worth more. So this one's going to run about 50 bucks. So keep on the lookout for ones that just look fancier than the rest. Um, ink cartridges are always, always a good buy. Um, even though I got them from the Goodwill outlet, sometimes you can't find the brands that you find there. Or somebody just got rid of their printer and they don't need this ink cartridge, so they drop it off at the Goodwill and then it ends up at the Goodwill outlet. Telephone cord has a barcode, brand new in package. Um, exercise videos always sell because um, us in America, we're always trying to lose weight. Uh, typewriter printer uh, ribbon. And so a lot of people still use typewriters. There are places that if they're a small business, tax forms, they can fill out with a typewriter because they don't have, they have to pay a big fee for um using the computer model. And so I know of a few places of friends of mine that they still use a typewriter in order to do those W-2s. Also, um, baby storage bags, new in package. Don't give up on old school VHSs and cassettes. Now, we had a stack of about 10 cassettes and we scanned them and they have a barcode and a lot of them were one or two dollars. But this one is a Disney one for our children. It was actually for a charity and it's going to run right around um, 20 bucks, was it? And so 20 bucks. And so don't give up on cassettes, okay, and VHSs because people still use them and buy them. And sometimes you can't find a DVD in the show that you want. Door organizers where you just hang these on the doorknob and it's got a bunch of different slots. We found two of them, so that's nice. One listing, two items. Um, this is a baseball with filled with bubble gum just be careful with the bubble gum make sure you don't have expiration date now most bubble gums like this don't have expiration dates on it but just be careful make sure that it's not open at all um these are anti-slip grips for mobile devices so like an ipad or whatever you put that on there and it's going to stick these are outlet covers but they're a specialized outlet cover they're not like your typical plug-in ones these are specialized and the um we're only probably going to make about eight bucks a piece on these but we have three, so I'm making one listing and able to do multiples, which saves me a lot on time. So even though it's only $8, I go for it because I have multiples. Also, some more books in very, very good condition. Paperback, always going to list them used. Some kind of unique, um, the St. Louis baseball reader. So some unique things that might be collectible for some people. Um, here I've got a multi-purpose roll. It looks like it's used for insulation around outlets and pipes and things like that that go under your house. And so, um, you know, it's just a small little roll, but maybe that's all somebody needs. And with the, you know, free shipping for $50 that they now have on Amazon, sometimes they're just looking for that, oh, I'm going to spend 10 more dollars so I get free shipping on everything, and it may save them. So then that's when they buy these kinds of things. Cross stitches always sell. Cross stitch kind of crafty items. I've never had bad luck selling anything like this. So this is actually a skating reindeer. Um, even though it's not Christmas time, there's a lot of people that just want to keep their hands busy on cross stitch. So that's basically our Goodwill outlet haul. Um, lots of different things that you can find at the Goodwill outlet. So 
um, just keep looking and hunting and find those treasures. And remember, in the end, Jesus wins. Thanks.